Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on composite numerical integration. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to develop Scilab code for different composite numerical integration algorithms. Divide the integral into equal intervals, apply the algorithm to each interval and calculate the composite value of the integral. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu 12.04 as the operating system with Scilab 5.3.3 version. Before practicing this tutorial, a learner should have basic knowledge of Scilab and integration using numerical methods. For Scilab, please refer to the relevant tutorials available on the Spoken Tutorial website. Numerical integration is the study of how the numerical value of an integral can be found. It is used when exact mathematical integration is not available. It approximates a definite integral from values of the integrand. Let us study composite trapezoidal rule. This rule is the extension of trapezoidal rule. We divide the interval a comma b into n equal intervals. Then h equal to b minus a divided by n is the common length of the intervals. Then composite trapezoidal rule is given by the integral of the function f of x in the interval a to b is the approximately equal to h multiplied by the sum of the values of the function at x0 to xn. Let us solve an example using composite trapezoidal rule. Assume the number of intervals n is equal to 10. Let us look at the code for composite trapezoidal rule on Scilab editor. We first define the function with parameters f, a, b, n. f refers the function we have to solve. a is the lower limit of the integral, b is the upper limit of the integral and n is the number of intervals. Lin space function is used to create 10 equal intervals between 0 and 1. We find the value of the integral and store it in i1. Click on execute on Scilab editor and choose save and execute the code. Define the example function by typing DEFF open parenthesis open single quote open square bracket y close square bracket is equal to f of x close quote comma open quote y is equal to 1 by open parenthesis 2 asterisk x plus 1 close parenthesis close quote close parenthesis press enter type trap underscore composite open parenthesis f comma 0 comma 1 comma 10 close parenthesis press enter the answer is displayed on the console next we shall study composite simpson's rule in this rule we decompose the interval a comma b into n is greater than 1 sub intervals of equal length apply simpson's rule to each interval we get the value of the integral to be h by 3 multiplied by the sum of f 0, 4 into f 1, 2 into f 2 to f n. Let us solve an example using composite Simpson's rule. We are given a function 1 by 1 plus x cube dx in the interval 1 to 2. Let the number of intervals be 20. Let us look at the code for composite Simpson's rule. We first define the function with parameters f, a, b, n. f refers to the function we have to solve. a is the lower limit of the integral, b is the upper limit of the integral and n is the number of intervals. 
we find two sets of points. We find the value of the function with one set and multiply it with two. With the other set we find the value and multiply it with four. We sum these values and multiply it with h by 3 and store the final value in i. Let us execute the code. Save and execute the file simp underscore composite dot sci. Let me clear the screen first. Define the function given in the example by typing deff open parenthesis, open single quote, open square bracket, y, close square bracket is equal to f of x, close quote, comma, open quote, y is equal to 1, divided by open parenthesis, 1, plus x, cube, close parenthesis, close quote, close parenthesis. Press enter, type simp underscore composite, open parenthesis f comma 1 comma 2 comma 20 close parenthesis press enter the answer is displayed on the console let us now look at composite midpoint rule it integrates polynomials of degree 1 or less divides the interval a comma b into a sub interval of equal width finds the midpoint of each interval indicated by xi. We find the sum of the values of the integral at each midpoint. Let us solve this problem using composite midpoint rule. We are given a function 1 minus x square dx in the interval 0 to 1.5. We assume n is equal to 20. Let us look at the code for composite midpoint rule. We first define the function with parameters f, a, b, n. f refers to the function we have to solve. a is the lower limit of the integral, b is the upper limit of the integral and n is the number of intervals. We find the midpoint of each interval. Find the value of integral at each midpoint and then find the sum and store it in i. Let us now solve the example. Save and execute the file mid underscore composite dot sci. Let me clear the screen. We define the function given in the example by typing deff open parenthesis, open single quote, open square bracket, y, close square bracket is equal to f of x, close quote, comma, open quote, y is equal to 1 minus x square, close quote, close parenthesis. Press enter, then type mid underscore composite open parenthesis f comma 0 comma 1 point 0.5 comma 20 close parenthesis press enter the answer is displayed on the console let us summarize this tutorial in this tutorial we have learned to develop scilab code for numerical integration find the value of an integral watch the video available at the link shown below it summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project it is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash 
nmeict hyphen intro this is ashwini patil signing off thank you for joining